Hello everyone, my name is Katie. I am the introverted reader. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, as you see by the title, is going to be a tag video. And the name of this tag is the book acquiring tag. Now I was tagged by Kaz over at Cats at Camera. Thank you very much for the tag. I will leave her video uh, linked down below if you want to go and see her answers. Um, the original uh <laughs> the original creator of this tag is enter the book so i will leave them down below as well um and i'll try and leave the questions uh down below as well but let's just get into the questions shall we um so it's all about like buying books and like what way you what way you do it and so forth um first question do you plan your book purchases ahead or impulse buy I'm trying to not impulse buy anymore, if I'm being honest. Like I, I used to do that. Like if you remember um, from an unhaul video that I did ages ago, like I still have the bags sitting here. I need to get them out of this house. But I, <laughs> I had so many random books on my shelf that I just bought out of Waterstones because they, um, they were on that table, you know, the buy one, get one half price table. And that table was just the death of me. Like I'd walk into Waterstones, find the most random book, buy it. And I'm trying not to do that anymore. So as of now, I am just going in with a book in mind. Like I say to myself, if I see this book, then I'll get it. But if I don't, then I don't. And I'm not going to buy anything. Like I restrain myself. <laughs> I'm really trying to restrain myself because I just can't be impulse buying anymore. Can't do it. How do you decide what books to buy? Um, well, I if they're an anticipated release, if they're by an author that I really love, then um, that's usually like auto buy for me. Um, I get that's really just it really. Like if it's an author that I really love, if it's a book that I've been anticipating, then you know, I just decide, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that. Or a lot of times, as of recently, like I purchased the Illumicrate editions of Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And I decided to buy those mainly because one, I love Lanny Taylor. And two, I've been meaning to want, I've been meaning to reread that series for a while. Um, so if it's an anticipated release or if it's a series that I want to reread, then yeah, I just make the decision really. But I'm trying to be very, very selective <laughs> um, about that. So uh, three, what is your philosophy on where you shop? Online, in person, large, small, physical, digital, audio, new or used, blah, blah. Well, um, the majority of the books that I have, I just purchased online, either Amazon, Book Depository, um, Waterstones, Black Whales, I've ordered from there a couple times, the Gaze the Word bookshop, like in, whether it's a wee indie store or a big, store like Waterstones, then, you know, it, it doesn't really matter to me. If you've got the book that I want, then you're, we're grand. Um, physical, digital, or audio. I, if it's a book that I want to read, but I don't want to buy a physical copy of it, then I'll just go onto the Kindle store. And nine times out of 10, the Kindle store is just cheaper, you know? Um, new or used doesn't matter to me if it's used you know I mean if it's still in good enough condition you know if like if I pick it up and it's not falling apart then we're good um so I, I don't personally really have a preference you know I do love brand new books I won't lie I love the smell of a brand new book but if I spot a, a book that I want in like a used bookshop and it's in decent condition then don't matter to me uh question four what about little free libraries what do you think about them I think they're they're, they're pretty cool. I think they're really a great way to um, engage with your community and uh, get rid of your books, really. If you've got a wee pile of books in your house that you don't want anymore, put them into a wee free library. Um, have you used one? I have not. There is not one within my area where I live. Um, I kind of wish there was. You know, if there was, I would, um, I would certainly go in. And why or why not? Well, obviously, because there isn't one there. And to be honest, I would be really worried of people using it as like a bin or something because no one in the area that I live in will be full of cigarette butts, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's the truth. That's honestly the truth. And I've I've thought to, my, uh, to myself of like starting one, but again, I'm scared of vandals. 
honestly. Like, I'm pretty sure my, like, my mom got a puncture the other day. I'm about 90% sure someone put it in there. Like, you know, like, children are, honestly. Um, question five. How do you feel about acquiring, acquiring a book? Do you share, like, in a book haul or a diary? I don't keep a diary. Um, I feel great about getting um, a book. I love the feeling of coming home or like seeing a package that has my name on it, you know, that has like a brand new book in there that I've been wanting for ages or if it's a pre-order that I've been waiting months for. Um, I feel very happy and I do love to share them with you guys on here um, via book hauls. <laughs> the last big one that I did uh, was uh, the ones that I bought myself for my birthday and I was super excited about all of them. I love it. Um, question six, how do you feel about looking at your books that you haven't read? Does it matter if it's currently a lot or a little amount? Do you know what? A while ago, I counted the amount of unread books that I have on my shelf and it was actually a lot less than what I thought, mostly because I unhauled a bunch. So I'm constantly on Holland. Do you know what I mean? Like I always look through my shelf and I'm always like, am I going to read this realistically? No, probably not. You know, usually if the answer is no, then I would just unhaul it and get rid of it. You know, like, so, um, I don't feel all that bad because like I said, it's, I have a lot less on red books than what I actually thought I did. So to be honest, I'm excited looking at them all because they're all ones that um, obviously I'm still interested in reading them. I'm excited about them. They're by authors I love. So yeah, just like constantly on haul people, that's that's the key. Uh, question seven, how do you decide what number of unread books <laughs> is the right amount? Well, you tell me, <laughs> you tell me. Um, how many is too many? Um, I, do you know what? I'm not like, I'm not calling anybody out, but if you're the sort of person that has over a hundred unread books on your shelf, you need to go through all of that and get rid of the ones that you know for a fact that you are not interested in anymore. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Fran, that you will look, sorry, throat's getting a bit dry. I guarantee you that um, at least half of them that you don't want to read, so... We're just gonna hydrate. If you have not hydrated today, be sure to do so. My water bottle's up there. The water bottle reminds you, hydrate. <laughs> um, yeah, like go through your bookshelf and like get rid of the ones that you know for a fact you're not gonna read because what is the point of keeping a hundred plus books, you know, simply just because it's pointless. Do you have a TBR game or process for reading them? Not really. I mean, if I'm taking part in a readathon, then obviously I have a plan in mind because obviously you're following prompts. As for a TBR game, I don't have a TBR game. I know lots of people on here have really fun looking TBR games like Becca with her Bookopoly. Um, Gavin used to play play to your, your TBR, right? Um, Cody, Cody's Book Corner, she spins the wheel. Like they're all really, really fun TBR games and I might attempt to play at least one of them in the future. Um, don't know which one cause there's so many, but um, yeah, I don't have one, but I would like to partake in one maybe sometime. Uh, question nine, do you have a book buying problem? No, Janet, I don't. <laughs> if so, what is the nature of it and can it be adjusted? I used to have a book buying problem. I used to, because like I said in the beginning, I used to impulse buy all the time. Like I'd go into Water Stones and I'd come out with two or three books and I'd look at them later and be like, why did I buy that? Like, why? Um, so I'm really trying to not do that anymore. I've been very good at doing that. Like there's been a lot of books that I've seen in Waterstones and I think to myself, oh, that that's really pretty. Like that sounds like something I would enjoy. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, girl, that's going to sit in your shelf for two plus years and then you're going to end up unhauling it. Let's be realistic. So I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And number 10, tag two or three others to ponder the book buying process. Hmm, who do I want to tag? I will tag Amy over a book two with Amy. And I will also tag, who can, who else, who else? Who else, who else, who else? Who did, oh, Kaz already tagged what Victoria read. I would have tagged Victoria as well. I will also tag Aoife over at Purple Pretty Polka Dots. 
I will tag her as well. Um, let me see. And anybody else that wants to do this tag, you are more than welcome to. So yeah, that is, um, that is all of the questions. I'll try and leave them, uh, link, I'll try and leave the questions linked down below for you. So if you want to answer some in the comments, you can. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. My socials are down below, Instagram, Twitter, Amazon wishlist is down there too. Subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell. And I'm going to be working over the weekend. Wow. So next video is going to be next Tuesday. So yes, I will see you then. And then I will see you on Saturday because I make videos every Tuesday and every other Saturday. So I shall love you and leave you. Goodbye.